Hi everybody, the Studio One Macro Toolbar got some small but really handy new improvements in Studio One 6.1 and especially macro power users have been waiting for this for several years. The first improvement is that you can now undo a macro with just one step. Before version 6.1, all the single commands inside the macro were considered an own undo step. That means that if you had a macro that consists of 10 single commands, then you had to press undo 10 times to undo the complete macro. And of course, you didn't really know how many commands are inside the macro, so you didn't know how many steps you have to undo. To make it short, undoing macros wasn't really convenient. So now in version 6.1, a macro is treated like a regular Studio One command so that you can just press Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo a macro. A really nice update for people who use macros all the time. Next improvement. We have three new macro commands that we can use to select the currently active macro page. Which is great, because when you're working with different macro pages such as the media editing functions or podcast editing or audio, then you might want to be able to change the current page with a keyboard shortcut or with a Stream Deck or any other controller. And that's what we can do with these new three commands. Previous macro page, next macro page, these just go to the previous or next macro page. And the third command is select macro page. It can be used to select a specific macro page. For example, if I want to select the scoring tools toolbar or the music editing toolbar with a keyboard shortcut or with my Elgato Stream Deck, then I can just go into the macro organizer, add a new macro, and here I search for select macro page. Then double click to add the macro and double click here to open the arguments. And as a name, I enter scoring tools and press OK. And now we need a name for our macro. OK, and again, let's press OK. And now I go into the keyboard shortcuts, search for select scoring tools and assign a key. And now every time I need the scoring tools toolbar, I can just press this key and that brings me to this macro page. Small update, but very, very useful. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to not miss any new Studio One videos in the future. Thanks for watching.